So what if I'm in a, this is a question about what if I am in a business setting or a work or a company or corporate setting and I'm in these corporate meetings and it seems like uh, I'm not eloquent enough or I'm not, I'm not aware enough of the technicals of the, of the job and it feels like my energy is quite harsh when I sort of try and come into group conversations around certain business issues and uh, maybe not eloquent, maybe not saying, you know, maybe too aggressive. How can I sort of bring more softness and love into the situation? Well, for me, um, you know, the, the, there's a few different things apart from the prayer and God did not create it or cancelling it or handing certain things over is, um, you know, uh, talking about the observer or the witnesser. So um, there's a few things to do. So if it seems like my perception is I'm not eloquent enough and I'm too pushy and aggressive in business meetings, then I, I would try and do something, you know, so I would either see if there, I could use the observer technique. So before these meetings, I could see if I have, if there are any feelings in me, is there any agitation? Can I go to the observer of the agitation and can I collapse the agitation by being the witnesser of the agitation? Um, next thing is, um, if there are any thoughts like you know i might have a negative thought come up like oh you were too aggressive you're too aggressive in the way you interrupted everyone in the last business meeting so can i go to the observer of those thoughts and who am i that is upset by by what how i behaved and how i spoke and can i go to the observer of the me what's witnessing the me that has done the wrong thing and is the witnesser of the me who did the wrong thing um, am I the witnesser of the me or is the me the me? So in that way, then I go to, I collapse the idea that there was a me that did anything wrong by going to the witnesser and letting go of the identification of, of a me that has done wrong things and is holding on to wrong things. The other way, which is much more difficult, but um, if you listen to this, I'll be putting this video up on YouTube. Uh, you can watch it before you go to work is um, remember in difficult situations to go to the witnesser. And I did this once with spectacular, miraculous effects. And uh, I've shared it many times in the sense that um, I was in a 12 step group where I had a lot of conflict with an individual. You know, we had, we had mutual animosity. And uh, one day she came in and the, um, the anger in me ar arose and I saw her as the enemy in my perception. And suddenly I just remembered, well, why don't you go to the witnesser of all of this? And so I did. I went to the witnesser of the me who seemed to be angry at her and the witnesser of the whole room. And I popped out of my ego perception and I popped out that she was, um, you know, of my ego story around her and the ego feelings. And immediately, the, you know, it was felt like there was just immense love and the thing had gone. It just collapsed in, in love. And uh, I was just really full of happiness and love in, in that meeting. And it just showed that once I went to the witnesser of the me who was angry at her, I went to the witnesser, well, there's a witnesser of my body, there's a witnesser of my anger, there's a witnesser of the whole room. And by going to the witnesser, it just collapsed everything. So uh, maybe play, if you wanna play this video before you, go, before you go to work or before business meetings, you know, even though you have to be aware of how you're going to answer in business meetings, see if you can be the witnesser. What's witnessing the individual you that is being abrupt or needs to show that they are capable in the meeting? Is the witnesser involved in, the, in your personal story? So if you can go to that, that will collapse, that will collapse your, the, the personal story of what's going on in those business meetings. Also go to the fear uh, and uh, go to the observer of that, or if there's anxiety in business meetings or whatever is coming up, and that will start to... So if you do that over and over again in business meetings, what will happen is you'll collapse the uh, limited thought identifications and the feeling identifications. And basically what I guess would happen is that because you become more relaxed and you are in oneness, and that you'll have, there'll be greater love for those, that energy of light and love in the meetings will start to mean that Possibly people will like you a lot more. And, um, and I'm pretty sure 
you know, and my experience is, you know, people who do a lot of spiritual work and go to corporate meetings uh, will, will, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll get promoted pretty soon because everyone's kind of aware. They don't know what it is about you, but you bring good luck whenever you're around. So they all want you and start promoting you. Anyway, that's my guess. So anyway, wishing you miracles for, for all those in, in work situations. I'm going to uh, hold on and press stop.